How's it guys? Welcome to the Ultimate Exotics Reptile Channel. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at probe sexing snakes. Now, some of you might ask, what is probe sexing? And it's a, what it is, it's a method that we use um, specialized probes, stainless steel probes, to determine the sex of snakes. And we use probe sexing when it comes to um, a situation where we cannot pop sex a snake because they're now too old. Or if it's a delicate species of snake um, that can't be pop sex and it needs to be probed. And we also use probing when it comes down to um, sometimes you, you're unsure when you pop sex a snake and, and you can't determine the sex. We then use the probes to uh, guarantee it and just to double check. Okay, so before we start showing you um, how to sex snakes with a few of the snakes that we got here. Let's talk about the probes so you can understand these a bit better. This is our probe set that we have at Ultimate Exotics that we get manufactured. Uh, it comes in a nice pouch just to keep them clean and hygienic. And here you can see the range of probes. And what it is, is we have larger probes and smaller probes. And these probes are the, the ones that we use, are de uh, we determine on the size of the snake. So for larger snake species, like some of your bigger pythons, we're going to use these bigger probes. And these are going to be for your smaller species, right up to hatchlings, these fine little wire probes here. What you'll notice is that all the probes are stainless steel and that each probe has a round polished edge. Even these small ones here, they're very hard to see, but they have a round polished, polished edge. And that's so when we insert the probe into the snake's um, area, uh, near the vent area, it doesn't cause any harm whatsoever. And we have to do it very gently. And it's something that's um, it's a practice that you can learn over time. Okay, but before I show you this diagram of a snake's reproductive organs, uh, let me explain a little bit about what we're looking for when we're probing. So, uh, with snakes, they have two penises, um, and we call those hemipenes. And they lie in a V-shape just underneath um, the snake's scales, um, inside the vent towards the tail side. So let me show you here um, on this diagram. Okay, here you can see the diagram of a female and a male snake's reproductive organs. Um, this would be where the vent is, over here. And this is their tail, which you can clearly see there. Now, with the female, you have um, just two pockets there. There's no hemipenes, so all there is is two pockets. And uh, wh what that means is when you insert the probe, it's going to stop. You're going to slowly insert it towards the tail, and it's going to stop quickly, because there's no hemipenes, so it stops in that pocket. And um, what it will, uh, how far it will go in with females, generally, um, some species, it's different to others, but generally, it doesn't go in further than one to three subcordial scales. Now, with the males, like we were saying, they have two hemipenes. There are two pockets over here where the hemipenes lie in. And that's what we try to find in the snake to prove that it's a male or not a male if there's no hemipenes. So there's these two pockets here. Uh, where the hemipenes lie in and when we insert the probe um, it will go much further than with the females because it's going to go into that pocket where the hemipene lies and generally with males it will go 9 to 15 subcordial scales deep okay so now it's time for us to show you some examples of um, how to probe snakes we're going to work with three species here just to show you the variation amongst them we're going to start out with some beautiful king snakes um, some adults then we're going to go on to some ball pythons, which is another common species. And those adults, we also need to probe just to make 100% sure of the sex. And then we're also going to show you some venomous stuff, which is quite cool. And we'll show you how to um, correctly tube those venomous snakes so that you can safely probe them without any ris risk of getting bitten. So let's start off with some of our snakes here. Okay, so let's start off with um, a Durango Mountain King snake. Um, this is a young adult, um, so it's not too big. Um, and then just a, a bit of advice when using when choosing the probes to use rather go a bit smaller than bigger um, The bigger one sometimes if it's too big It's not going to fit into that hemipenal pockets and um, you won't be able to accurately determine the sex of the snake So always rather go for a smaller probe than a bigger probe. So let me show you how we're going to probe the snake now Okay, before we start probing what we do is we just add a little bit of lubricant here This just helps the probe slide in easily and just makes things a lot easier when determining the sex. Um, if you have another person to help you do this, it's a good idea. And they can um, hold the snake for you, the upper half of the snake, while you can work with the tail side. Here you can see the vent of the snake over there. And this is going towards the tip of the tail. This is where we're going to insert the probe to determine the sex. And if it's a male, 
the hemipenal pockets, like you saw in the diagram, will be lying on either side of that tail um, near that vent. So what we do is we just bend it slightly, and here you can see we're going to put the probe in. And remember, always on the side of the snake, not um, in the middle. Either side of the snake, not in the middle, because the hemipenal pockets lie on the side of the tail. And we're going to insert this probe, and gently we twist it and push it softly. It does no harm to the snake whatsoever, and this one looks like it's going very deep. And as soon as it stops, I'm just gently pushing it, and it's not going anymore. I'm then going to put my finger there so we can mark where it comes out and slowly pull it out. And there you go. That is going through a lot of subcortal scales, probably about 10 scales there. Um, so that's going to definitely be a male. Okay, so we have the other snake here, so let's check it. And again, we're going to go in on the side. Remember, always to go on the side, we're going to gently insert the probe and we're going to push very gently up in there to see, up towards the tail, to see if it's how far it's going to go. And I'm pushing gently and there it has stopped right there. So I can't go anymore. So I'm going to put my finger there, I'm going to pull it out and there you can see how it's not going deep at all. And that means it's a female. So it's only a few subcortal scales, the depth that it's going and that is the female so you can see the difference the males were about the male was about that far in and this female is only that far in so it's definitely a female okay next up we're going to check a few ball pythons and show you how we probe sex them it's going to be exactly the same as we've done with those king snakes you saw earlier just being a bigger snake we're going to choose a slightly bigger probe so let's see how this is um how this is done okay let's try and probe sex this um ball python and we're going to go in on the side here and just push gently again. I'm just pushing very gently. And then you can also go on the other side just to double check as well. Like I said, never in the middle, always on the side, pushing towards the tail gently. It's not going any more than that. So I'm putting my finger there, I'm pulling it out. And that's how far it's gone. So that is a female. You can see it hasn't gone in very deep at all. So let's try and check the other one and see what sex that is. Okay, we have another ball python here. Let's check on the on this one. And you can see straight away this probe is going in further than the previous one. And look how deep that is. Much, much deeper. Almost double the length. Maybe even more than double the length. So that is 100% a male. Okay, so now we're going to... Um, probe sex this cape coral. These guys are venomous so you've got to handle them very carefully and we're going to tube this um, this snake before we try and probe it and uh, tubing is you take this uh, clear uh, perspex tube that these were spe specially made for tubing snakes and we're going to get um, this, this little guy to crawl in here. Um, it can be quite tricky sometimes to coax them into the tube um, but we're going to get him to just slide up the tube and get him his body three quarters of the way up or half the way up and then uh, we can then safely secure him and we can then probe him without any risk of getting bitten. Okay, there he goes in and as he goes three quarters of the way up, we then can secure him and there you go. Now you can see he can't turn around so you've got to make sure you have the right size tube and he can't turn around so now we can safely work with him. Okay, and now we're going to probe sex him, and again just going up the side, we're going to gently insert the probe, and gently push it up, and this is going very far as well, so let's have a look, oh yeah, that's nice and deep, that's a male for sure. Okay, we've tubed the other cape coral, so let's, let's have a look. Let's probe it. Okay, and it's not going any more than that. And there you can see. That's only going a few scales up. A few subcortal scales. So that is definitely a female. Okay guys, so I hope you learned something about uh, probing snakes and I hope um, you can learn from the techniques that we have showed you. It has worked very well for us um, over the years 
and we haven't had any issues. And if it's done correctly with um, the right practice and the right people teaching you how to do it, um, it's, it causes absolutely no harm or stress to the snakes. And it's a very good way of making 100% sure um, the sex of the snake that you, that you have is. Um, a little bit of advice. Um, when, when you're using the probes, uh, make sure to use the right size probe and always go a bit smaller like we, like we mentioned. And then another thing is certain species of snakes, um, they might probe to different lengths. So the females might um, probe to different de uh, depths. So it's a good idea uh, to make sure that you do the research um, on the species of snake that you are probing to give you an idea of how far that probe is going to go down into that uh, hemipenal um, pocket. Um, so that's a good idea because if you don't have a male and female to compare the two, sometimes uh, it might be a female that probes quite deep and then you think, hey, maybe I've got a male. So do your research and just find out um, from experience with other keepers what type of depth that you're looking for when you're probing. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.